I guess, uh, Colin, uh, start off with an easy one. What was kind of your individual focus during this bye week and it is just what kind of stuff are you individually trying to work on? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, this past week, uh, really just, you know, focusing on continuing to, to improve as an offense, um, you know, did a lot of, uh, you know, good on good versus defense uh, and just continuing to, to stack days and, and get better as an offense. But for me personally, um, you know, I think it would be probably timing with receivers, uh, just continuing to, to develop that. Um, and then, uh, you know, just the mental side of things too. Hale. Hey, Colin, with the running game and its consistency through the first five games, how, how much does that give you guys confidence moving forward to, to be able to, to take the offense to the next level, knowing that you have that kind of in your back pocket, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I think we've, we've been able to run the ball effectively. Um, and, and I think that's, that's going to be a key for us. Uh, I mean, I think you want to stay balanced as an offense. Um, you know, our offensive line has done a really good job. Uh, our backs have done well, um, you know, making plays and making guys miss. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be a, a key for us as we go down this back stretch of the um, schedule. Mike Cooper. Going back and watching the film, what do you think some of the things that you can improve on to be able to help you in this back half of the season and not just you, but this offense? Yeah, I mean, I think you we've got to minimize negative plays. Um, and, you know, I, I think about, you know, me personally, uh, knowing when to just throw the ball away. I think I want to, you know, you always want to make a play. Um, and, you know, just you can't take sacks, um, whether it's just throwing it away or uh, trying to get up and get what you can. But, um, you know, minimize negative plays um, and, you know, just trying to stay, stay ahead of the chains. I think that'll definitely help our offense. Uh, I mean, we were I thought we moved the ball well, but just negative plays will definitely uh, kill you for sure. Eric Boynton. Colin, you've been through uh, multiple fights for a start for a starting job over your career. Um, what's kind of your take on how Ryan has handled this? Obviously, it could be a little bit of a difficult situation having been the starter and now being the backup. But what kind of what's your take on how Ryan seems like he's stayed really upbeat through this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, Ryan's done a great job. Um, and I'd you know, I haven't known Ryan too long, but, um, you know, since I've known him, that, that's just how he is. His personality is very upbeat. Uh, he's got a great perspective on, on life. And, um, you know, I think he's handled it really well. He's come to work every day. Um, he's locked in in meetings, um, you know, does a good job in practice as well. Um, so, you know, I think he's handled it, you know, as good as you can. It's definitely not, uh, it's not fun to be the starter and then, you know, go from that to, uh, you know, being a backup, but I think he's definitely handling as, as well as you can. How much help has he given you as far as being an extra pair of eyes there on the sideline or the home room? Can you repeat that, Eric? You broke up on us. Oh, in the um, I think, um, you know, he, he definitely helps. Um, that's something that, um, you know, during games he – you know, when I come off, he'll tell me what he saw or, uh, you know, if I have a question about, you know, maybe something that, that they ran or, you know, something like that, he's definitely been helpful. So it's not like uh, he's checked out. I mean, he's definitely uh, locked in and, and knows what's going on. So he's, he's been great. Ben. Um, this, uh, this Gamecock staff has been pretty successful coming off uh, bye weeks. And I wanted to ask, does – does the way they've operated during the bye week, was it any different from the way you guys did stuff at Colorado State? Or just what was that kind of prep and, and feel like around the team? Uh, it's pretty similar. I think, you know, you go into bye week and you do a lot of, um, you know, good on good stuff. When I say that, more, um, you know, not game plan type things. So, you know, you're doing a lot more, uh, you know, periods and situations against each other. Um, you know, which is a good thing. It's good to get some competition. But, yeah, it was very similar to what we did at Colorado State. Um, you know, and then, that, you know, I think you get a lot more guys' reps and just continue to develop everybody um, as a whole. So, I mean, I think it, it's very similar, um, you know, at both places. Josh Kendall. A hard-hitting question here, Colin, so forgive me. Better hair, you or Gavin Bennett? Uh, me. And, you know, Gavin... What was that? 
I said, that's bold. He really likes his hair. He does. You know, he does. But when I first got here, uh, he said he wanted to grow it out because uh, he liked how mine looked. Uh, but, you know, I do kind of like the mullet. I don't know that I can pull it off, but I think, you know, I'm a big fan of his mullet for sure. I'm not sure he pulls it off either. But he <laughs> what do you think of that group that's at the 50-yard line during games, at the, the home games? Do you get a chance to catch their routine? Uh, you, you're talking about, like, before kickoffs and stuff? And yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do a good job. Um, you know, especially in a year like this, um, Coach talks about it all the time. You got to bring your own juice, um, and you know it's going to be about going to be about the team. Uh, you know, bringing energy, and uh, you know I think we all wish that that Willie B would be packed out, but you know we I, we are where we are, and I think that group does a good job of, of being positive and, and bringing good energy for us. Thanks, Colin. Colin. Yeah, Colin, I guess, what have you seen from Texas A&M and the film that you've been able to watch and what kind of challenges does that defense present? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, there's a reason they're a top 10 team. Um, I think they're very talented. Um, you know, they're really solid up front. They've got experienced backers and uh, they're athletic on the back end. So, I mean, I think they're, they're a really good football team, um, you know, and, and we're going to have to be ready to go. Take two more, David, then Ben. Hey, Colin, I'm sure when uh, you guys watch the LSU tape or any tape, you know, there's some plays that, that you could take the blame for and a lot of other plays where you couldn't. My question is, how difficult is it that as the QB1 and pretty much getting all the criticism, how difficult is it to kind of accept that and just say, yeah, sure, it was my fault when in reality it really wasn't? Um, are you referring to, like, criticism from outside or? Oh. Criticism from outside, from fans and things like that. Uh, I'm just going to be real blunt. I don't read anything. So, you know, no offense to you guys. I'm sure you do a great job uh, of covering and all that stuff. Uh, but good or bad, um, I that's just something once I got in college, I never read anything, whether it was a, you know, article about my family or, you know, anything positive, negative. I don't read anything. So uh, to me, what happens outside the building that doesn't affect me either way. I'm, I'm going to come to work every day. I'm going to come in the building and, and take care of business uh, and do what I need to do uh, in order to keep getting better and, and run this offense the way we want to do it. Um, so uh, from the outside perspective, that's one thing. Uh, and then, you know, you never want to let your teammates down. So, like, if, when I'm watching film, obviously, uh, if it's something that I messed up on, um, you know, that's tough because, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to let your brother down. But... Um, you know, I think we're going we're gonna to learn from it and be ready to go Saturday. Last question goes to Ben. Um, Colin, so I know that uh, you obviously uh, started and then uh, played the role of backup behind, I think, a couple of different guys at Colorado State. And I wanted to ask, did, like, did, did you have any advice that you could give to Ryan about going through that experience since you also had kind of done it? Uh, I did. I think we, we had a good conversation. Um, Kind of right after camp, because um, you know it was a very similar situation. Uh, my freshman year, I mean, I was playing, uh, and then obviously got hurt and had to sit the rest of that year. And then I redshirted the next year, um, you know, behind a fifth-year guy. But um, you know, it was it's one of those things that, um, like I said earlier, I mean, you want to play, you're a competitor, and you want to be out there, uh, and you've already had a taste of it, you know, because you've been starting as a freshman, but. Um, you know, just I just encourage them to, to stay locked in and, and keep learning because one, you never know uh, when your number is going to be called, um, and so you want to be ready for that. But at the same time, it's um, you know it's an opportunity to keep getting better. Um, you know, Coach Bobo talks to us about uh, you know you don't you're not waiting on your opportunity. Your opportunity is every day, and so I think Ryan does a good job of uh, taking advantage of meeting times and practice as well, just to keep developing and, and getting better. Uh, and, you know, that's something that's it's not easy to do, you know, when you're not getting the reps and you're not playing on Saturdays. But, um, you know, I think he's, he's handled it really well and uh, he's worked hard.